grass is one of the birds that are under good eating, but I'm not here to eat them. They are the birds you can find this time of year and just make your way around With the film site location established, we move on to another project. The installation of game cams. So right what we got here. We got an assortment of cameras for Bluff Creek Wild Camera, Wild Game Cam project that Jamie uh, put together and raised a bunch of money, enough money to buy, I think, three cameras, but we added quite a few more cameras. I think total we're going to have seven cameras in and around the site. Some of the cameras will be putting an extra battery pack, these heavy duty battery packs, six volt packs like this. Yeah, it looks like pretty watertight too. Uh... But what we can do on these six volts, if we're in a good sunny situation, we can plug in the solar panel to it too. Right there like that. So it's trickle charging the six volt and hopefully keeping this battery going throughout the winter is the idea. Yeah, and that's the big plan. I guess one of those we wanted to set up where it's kind of overlooking the film side area where we can just keep keep going and going, taking a picture every so often. Right, we're going to do a daily picture. And we'll probably take, oh, a series of pictures, maybe two to four a day. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we can set it up on these interval timers uh, that it'll take two shots probably in the morning time and then maybe we'll have one shoot in midday. Optimally, we want to shoot when it's sunny and we can get a progression of how the site changes, how the creek changes, and um, the other cameras, hopefully we get some game on it, some kind of wildlife. I hope so too. Bushnells, I like these. There's the new ones. Yeah, these guys do actually set them up for movies, which is pretty nice. The batteries, you can put as many as eight in some of these. Some of these take These more. two take eight. This one takes 12. Yeah, this is the big, this is a new one, hot off the market. So these have the little six-volt input there. Uh -huh. So these we can consider putting our bigger battery packs on for right. longevity. Um, in fact, probably I'd, I'd want to do it. Well, I guess these have more LEDs. Mm -hmm. that since it's blacked out. Right. But these we're going to keep the lithiums in. Yeah. And uh, these will probably hook up with our heavy duty Battery batteries. Kit. Yeah. yeah. Which means we got to mount the batteries. We got to mount these. We got to find a, a decent spot. And if you do anything with this, which will probably be on some of the creek bottoms mm -hmm. where they have sun. Right, that'd be the best choice. Yeah. We both know there's not a lot of sun down in this They're really limited to the, pretty much the creek side, but. Yeah, it does. It does. And this doesn't have to be on all of them. And, uh, but this time of year, any time of year at the Bluff Creek site, it's very limited on our sun. And it goes down quickly. And that we know. <laughs> in fact, I think we're going to be coming back out tonight in the dark. I think it's, I got, now. Yeah, I got some lights. We'll be good. All right. Well, let's put some of them up. Uh, we're on. We're going down to do a little planning. Preliminary scout to put in our game camps for the Bluff Creek project. Um, as you can tell, it's getting dark. Um, trying to beat the rain, which is coming. So we're all set. We're going down now, and uh, we're losing some light pretty fast. But we'll do what we can. Uh, right, he's got the cameras. Let's pack, and we're just going to head up, down rather, to uh, install those. Pick some good spots. And we're going to be back definitely with flashlights. But right now, take full advantage of what we got. Yeah, you see some erosion from the rain from a little this. bit of erosion. That must have a big slide out here. Pretty good deluge we had. Yeah. Right after we left last week. Well, this is going to create a lot of new obstacles here. Yeah, this is the slide that's on the road. This is one of the reasons. What's, what's funny is we went through all the last winter without something like this happening. This pretty much stayed intact through all last winter and we never saw anything like this uh, like I said it must have been a pretty good deluge to create that that much of a runoff there yeah, we're, we're kind of above the film site right now and uh, just on the road and it's getting dark as you can tell looking down here look at the fall colors we got the big leaf maples down here turtle turning colors get some right here 
the vine maples the ones that turn red, but not a lot right here, but we'll see more down there. I've hiked this route several times. Uh, come up in sunset quite often, actually. But this is the first time I'm actually going down at sunset to take a look at it. It should be kind of interesting, to say the least. Just got to watch your footing. Make sure everything's safe. I'm just routing myself, so it should be good. I got it so dark in here right now. Let me go to a night shot. There we go. Yeah, it's two deer coming down. Walking down the road. Oh, we got a nighttime shot too. Oh, bear. Got a bear. Way at the top of the screen? Yeah. Oh. Walk down the thing. Yeah, way, way up here. Way mm -hmm. up there. All right, what do you got there, Ray? Right, Turn, do some, some rock knocks. Rock knocking, huh? Yeah. Right now we're, we're on the gravel bar, right at the Bluff Creek, right not quite at the film site. We're down downstream, probably 300 yards plus the film site. Let's go to the sounds. Ooh, here's some good there ones. You go. My ears are ringing. I'm, I'm gonna try a howl here. We're down in the pit. Oh! Just kind of absorbs the sound. The acoustics is it is. Yeah, I'm surprised we don't get a good echo in here. We're better off like we did earlier, farther up on the hillside. Yeah. Right? Down here we have the water. We have creeks putting it over here. The trees are up higher. Yeah, we, we got do a lot have of, a little echoing out in the open here. We got a lot of debris piles around us too. Sucking up all the sound. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, we definitely scared away any bears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Let's go back into the forest and uh, see if we put a couple of cameras up. Well, right, it's starting raining. <laughs> As you can tell. Yeah. Yeah, we got kind of wet there. Um, yeah, nice light rain, got down there, realized it's pretty hard to set up cameras in the dark. <laughs> um, we definitely found some spots that uh, I think will work, but setting them up in the dark in the rain, we definitely learned our lesson. Yeah, that's good. We, we, we just got it out. Uh, got a little wet, but yep. we'll dry out. It's a daytime activity. Yeah. Um, and hopefully the rain stops. Sometime tonight. It's not raining tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Just because we want to open these cameras up and close them in a dry situation. We don't want to be opening and closing them with a lot of humidity in the air. That'll seal in moisture and probably corrode the batteries and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, we have to open them to set them. That's the stuff. That's the problem. Yes. Yeah. So, like I said, hopefully we have a dry spell tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Ready. Uh huh. Yeah, we're back. A little bit of wet. I think Chloe's the happiest to get back out of all of us. <laughs> she got a little wet more so. She's running back and forth all over the place. But yeah, um, nothing set up tonight, but that's okay. We're going to deal that tomorrow. But we picked out some good spots, and we went around the darkness. One neat thing about walking around the darkness is, with the headlamps, of course, you start finding trails. They stand out more in the dark with the, with the shadows of the flashlight. So that actually was a pretty good project. So it worked out pretty good. So we have a general idea of heading towards the film site and the general area we can get on the way in. So no problem there. Tomorrow we'll focus more on setting them up at the um, film site itself. And it should take a little more time, I guess, picking a good spot since a lot of it's opened up. But that's the report so far. And you can hear it. Pitter-patter brain. Found a camp to stay for the night.